Hi, today we're going to do a sort of shootout comparison of four incredible plugins that use a combination of spectral analysis and artificial intelligence to automatically separate stem layers from finished stereo wave files. Audio files could be an MP3. We're going to use wave files today. So the first four of those is extract stems which is designed to just be really straightforward. And then we're going to look at a slightly more in-depth solution, RipX Deep Remix from Hit and Mix, rounding things out with the stem extraction capabilities of two more in-depth spectral audio editing suites, Spectral Layers Pro 8 from Steinberg and Isotopes RX8. So of course, separating stems is incredibly helpful for sampling, but also for DJing live. If you are doing bootleg remixes or mashups and you've ever wanted to just isolate individual elements from a track, uh, these tools allow you to do so, which is actually incredible. Separation technology has come a long way and it's time to put these to the test by comparing some of the most popular plugins for stem separation on the market. The song we'll be using for comparison is linked down in the description below. So let's dive in. The first tool we're going to test is Extracts Stems from Audionamics. And the first thing you'll notice is it's got this sort of browser, which indicates, among other things, that you need to have a stable internet connection to use it. The artificial intelligence spectral analysis system that it uses to break tracks down into stems is cloud-based. So if you do not have an internet connection in the studio, it's going to be difficult to use it. But you might also notice that it's called Extracts Stems. Of the tools that I'm going to test, Extract Stems is easy to use, straightforward, and designed explicitly for stripping full audio tracks down into its contingent elements. And how do we do this? Well, it's quite simple. I'll just click here where it invites me to import a file and I'll test it first with a wave file. Uh, the more information contained in the audio file, the better result we're going to get. As an artificial intelligence system, uh, the bigger the data set, the more accurate the results. So let's take a listen to our test wave file here. I'll just click the transport, just get a sense of what we're dealing with. Kind of a dreamy commercial vocal house number. And so I've got this transport, I can zoom around, and now at the bottom we have our separation options. So I can choose just to strip the acapella or these other uh, categories. So the bass, the drums, backing material, like that would probably be the piano and any other synths or guitars. Uh, or I can ask X tracks to break it into four separate stems off the top. So now those are downloaded. I can click here on the four stems and go to those. So let's solo just the drums. And try that D bleed. I mean, depending what we're going for in a remix, that could be useful, but it's not immaculately clean, I wouldn't say. Let's try soloing the bass. Pretty good, like it definitely got the root harmonics and a, and a few others above that. Just playing with the deep lead to see how clean we can get it. And then of course, let's try the backing tracks. Yeah, that seems pretty, pretty good. I'm just curious what the deep lead does there. Okay, great. So I'll just double check the vocals. And enable the deep lead. Okay. Perfect. So, assuming I'm happy with these stems, all I need to do is go to the file menu. And this allows me to send the files to any directory on my hard drive. And I can choose uh, which components. So, I don't need the mix. 
I'll just take the vocals, drums, bass, other. And then I have a number of different formats I can choose. But uh, I think for remixing purposes, wave should be fine. Sample rate, I suppose I need to specify. I believe my sound card is at 48, so I'll leave it there. And uh, I could export just from that uh, region selected with the sort of loop brace there, but I'm going to export the entire duration. So now I have the four exported WAV files, which I can then drag and drop into a DAW of my choice, and I'll just preview them here. So these have all been exported with my D-bleed settings, which I might adjust further to taste. Are they absolutely perfect? I mean, no, not quite. But the fact a tool like this even exists and can perform this stem extraction so easily and intuitively, so long as you have a sufficient internet connection, is rather remarkable. So next up, we have another very powerful AI tool designed explicitly to extract stems. To start off, when you launch the application, very similarly to Xtracks, it simply invites us to choose a file. And I'm going to use the same wave test as I did for Xtrack stems. And when I click OK, this dialog pops up. And we can select which components we want to extract individually. But I'm going to do all of them. And it, it gives you a nice little estimate on the ripping time. And to be fair to RipX, I'm gonna put it at the highest quality. It'll take a bit longer, but that's of no concern. And it has also the option to just directly save the stems for DJing or DAW use, just ripping them directly to a new folder as WAV files without any requirement to do any intermediary fiddling about in the application. But I'd like to uh, take a look at how it actually works in the app. So I'm going to uncheck that box for now. We can export those stems later. So I'm going to just click rip with all my settings configured as I wish. And let's go. OK, so that took some time to get the parts ripped. But now that that's done, we can take a look in this uh, piano roll timeline. What we're seeing in the timeline are the different components color coded. So I'm just going to start by soloing the voice and I'll hit play in the transport. And it seems to have picked up the reverb, the delay. Pretty incredible. So I'm gonna keep going through the different layers and It's taken all the synths and the pianos and labeled them as guitar for some reason. They've lost a bit of brightness, but I think that's to be expected as a sacrifice one makes with these extraction mechanisms. And there's the bass with it. Let's just hear the bass alone. And what's interesting in comparison to Xtracks is that it has included some higher frequency noise along with those bass notes, which actually gives it a little more character, I think. It's very interesting that it was able to pluck that out. All right, let's see what's happening with the kick drum layer. Not bad. Now the drums, nothing there, but look what's below. We've got a layer labeled percussion. And I can see it visually. Let me just move the transport back. And sure enough, there is our percussion. Okay, so assuming I'm happy with all the layers that have been extracted, it's time to export. And RipX also offers some pretty interesting options on that front as well. So I'll just go to the file export menu and I can select any folder here. And I can, again, export in a number of different formats. But what's interesting is I can export to MIDI. So that means I could take any melody, harmony, or rhythm extracted here and import that to my DAW and play it through a completely different instrument and, of course, manipulate it in the unique ways only possible with MIDI. Now I can export, again, just a selection or a loop. 
And if I created just the separate stems, it's going to extract just the four initial layers selected in that first dialog. But I want to actually separate all the layers I have here. So I'm going to select separate layers and then click export. And so here we have all of our layers exported as WAV files, bass, empty drums. I was unable to remove that drums layer, uh, but that's something I might try next time around, removing any layers uh, that don't have any information in them. Guitar, kind of, again, a little odd, the name. It's just all the backing material, right? And the kick drum, nice. Percussion, and of course, the vocals. I'm particularly impressed with the vocal quality. It's got the reverb. It's got the sibilance. It's got the delay, all those like rhythmic delay effects from the vocal. And very little background noise, if any. So the acapella extraction is quite impressive here. So moving now into the more pro audio category of stem extraction solutions, we've got Spectralayers Pro from Steinberg, which is an incredibly powerful audio editing suite with all manner of surgical tools that allow you to do all kinds of in-depth, intricate manipulation of audio files. But we're just gonna look at the stem extraction features today. So the easiest way to do that is to simply drag and drop the same wave test file takes a moment to analyze and there it is now if i want to separate these into layers as spectral layers calls them i will go to this menu now i'm using spectral layers pro which has the unmixed stems option which is what i'm going to use i believe there is another version of spectral layers that's a bit more affordable and offers the unmixed vocal element, but not all the stems. But with Pro, I'm going to simply click Unmix Stems. And I can check which elements I want it to unmix. And I have a bit of a sensitivity setting here, not unlike the D-Bleed in Extracts, but it's a little hard to gauge in advance of the unmixing how sensitive I want any of these to necessarily be. So I'm going to leave them all on the default and just kind of see what Spectral Layers Pro does on its own. And so there we go. That didn't take very long. Uh, and I've got all the layers now available for muting and soloing in the lower right, not unlike Rip X Deep Remix. And they're again, color coded as well. So I think I'll start, let's just try soloing those vocals and we can see what it has identified as the spectrogram of the vocals as well. So let's try around here. Sounds quite good. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. It sounds like it's picking up some keys or other elements there that would best be categorized elsewhere and not merged with the vocals. I'm quite confident Spectra Layers Pro offers tools to go in and remove those from this layer, but we're just kind of focusing on the automatic stem extraction today, so I'm not gonna get into all of that. Let's go ahead and check out some of the other layers. So the piano. A little choppy on the right side of the stereo, but quite good otherwise, I have to say. Let's check the drums. So there's no option to separate the kicks from the percussion as we had in Rip X. So we just got all the drums together, but it's done a very good job of isolating them. Let's check the bass. So it didn't grab so much of the higher frequency noise that Rip X was picking up. 
It's getting some kind of almost car plus strong sort of resonance, which is interesting. Let me just hear. As days go by, yeah, that seems actually quite true to the way the bass is sitting in the full mix. So I'd say Spectral Layers did quite a good job with the bass. And let's hear what it grabbed as other. So it's those kind of side chain pads and ambience. Nicely done. Okay, so assuming that I'm happy with all the layers as they've been extracted, I can now go to the file menu and export audio of all layers. And the only option is to choose what bit depth for the wave files. So I'm gonna go with 24 bit and click OK. And it goes quite quickly. And let's go check out what we have. So here's the bass. Detecting a hint of uh, percussion transients mixed in with the vocals as well. So it's done quite a good job. And if you really want to get into the spectral audio editing, I'm sure you could manipulate this to be almost precisely pristine. But in terms of the automatic extraction, I'd say it, it did the bass maybe better than Rip X or X Track so far. However, um, it's not exactly perfect right off the bat. Nevertheless, if you are a Spectral Layers Pro user and you didn't know about this feature, today is your lucky day. So following in a similar vein from Steinberg Spectral Layers Pro, I'm gonna finish this stem extraction test with a look at Isotope's incredibly powerful Spectral Audio Editor RX8 Advanced. So this is not Necessarily a DJ tool like Extract Stems or Ripex, it offers, again, a host of powerful surgical tools to edit, manipulate, clean up audio in a variety of ways. To get started, I'll just click Open File and select, once again, our WAV format test, and there it is, loaded in. But what I need to do now is go ahead and select the Music Rebalance Repair Module. So this dialog pops up and this music rebalance module as the name suggests was designed to simply do just that to adjust the levels and say hey the bass is too loud the percussion is too quiet um, and basically rebalance or remix the spectral component layers but people were using it to isolate the different layers by effectively muting all of the other sliders. Now, as of RX8, they've got that function built right in. They've got a separation slider. Uh, so that's kind of like how, how strong the D-bleed from extracts might be. And we have a drop down. I'm going to give RX8 its best look with the best quality. And now if I just click separate, it's going to bounce them into separate files. So, now that the rebalancing process is complete, it took about three minutes on my Intel Core i9 here, I've got each separate component available in a different tab here. So let's just take a listen to the vocals. And I remember around this area with the spectra layers, it was getting some some backing track material mixed in with it somehow. So I'm gonna investigate here with RX-8. Yeah, it seems to be picking up those same sort of uh, ambient keys, isn't it? So let's check out the percussion at least, see how RX-8 fared over there. It's got an interesting sort of reverse whoosh going into each transient. 
But other than that, it sounds quite good. I'm very impressed. Let's check out a quieter section. Not bad. Okay, so the music rebalance tool only offers these four categories. So I'm curious about the bass, and then I'm curious about how it pulls all the other instruments together. That's gonna be like the extract stems backing material, I imagine. Sounds pretty similar to the Spectral Layers extraction. Pretty good. Picking up those nice resonances. Okay, for the other instruments, let's see how we did. Yeah, so it's picking up some of the vocal effects, which is interesting. But otherwise, done a great job. I mean, it's not really got the drums. Just a ghost of a pulse in the background. It's got the piano, the keys, all that stuff. Nice. So, assuming I'm happy with this, I would go and export each tab as one of these formats. So I'll go and do that individually here. And it's got a dither option as well. I don't think I would want to dither these assuming that I was going to use them in a remix. However, if I was going to use them as stem tracks to DJ with, maybe, but I would probably still want to treat them a little bit elsewhere. So I'll click OK, select the folder, and Let's see how it goes. I have to do them each manually here. Okay, so that was a little more labor intensive than one might want. Uh, it didn't offer an option to extract all of them individually in one sort of automated swoop, but we got there. So I'm just gonna quickly check the WAV files. And of course there are other file format options. So it offers more than spectral layers, but less than RIPX. RX-8 is limited to the same four stem options as extract stems. And I would say the extraction quality is quite high, equivalent to Spectral Layers 8 Pro and similar to Spectral Layers Pro, it offers a variety of other spectral editing tools to clean up these extracted layers even more if necessary. Again, if you already have RX-8 and didn't know about this feature, Music Rebalance is a fantastic way to adjust the balance of a mix or simply separate all of the stems into those four categories. So yeah, impressive feature added on to an already incredibly powerful spectral audio editing suite. So I hope that test comparison between these four powerful tools was informative. Uh, to my ear, I might go with deep remix, especially given the musical editing tools it affords, but all four options are incredibly powerful. And if you really want to get into the spectral editing element, I'm sure you can get incredibly high fidelity results with either Spectral Layers Pro or Isotope RX. On the other hand, if you're just looking for a very simple, straightforward way to break out stems with no fuss and no muss, I think extract stems might be the ticket. If you're looking to just grab an acapella for a DJ set or grab a drum groove that you've always wanted to use, extract stems is a great way to do it. And you may find it's competitively priced uh, with an annual subscription plan, whereas the other three options, Deep Remix, Spectral Layers Pro, and RX-8, all have a somewhat higher price tag, but might be worth it if you're looking for the additional features they offer. So really, in the end, it's up to you. 
I personally am blown away that we are now living in this golden age of artificial intelligence assisted spectral layer separation. I'm really impressed with the results from all four of these tools, to be honest. I think they all have their strengths. And hopefully, if you're thinking about taking the plunge on one of them, this video has helped give you some information to make a more informed decision. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below for more great content from Attack Magazine.